This is the Come A Girl Daily Podcast, written by Stephanie Bond. August 12th, Friday. I have bad news, my dad said. He sounds so anguished, I'm worried something has happened to Mom or Sid or Alex. The escort is in worse shape than I thought. Ah, of course, my car. I was sure the guy at the shop I use could fix it, but he said he can't. Hmm. Well, it has 150,000 miles on it, so it's probably time for a new car anyway. But I'm not giving up. I called around and found another mechanic who's supposed to be great, and he agreed to take a look at it. I'm going to have it towed there in the next few days. The car isn't worth saving, but fixing it seemed important to Dad for some reason. I suppose it gives him something to focus on. I know your mom talked to you about moving back home for a while when you get out of the hospital, and I figure you might like to take some time off to recover fully before you go back to work. So I was thinking, maybe you could go with me on the road for a few days. How does that sound? It sounds as if he's trying to hit the rewind button, and it's a sweet gesture. But I'm already wondering what we talk about for hours and hours in the car. It wouldn't be all sales calls, he said. We could stop off and see some museums and maybe hit a few flea markets. Do you still collect books? I'm more into e-books these days, but I still wander into bookstores occasionally. Tabitha and I meet for tutoring sessions at a public library, and it had reignited the Luddite in me. Dad isn't much of a reader, but it's nice he remembered I am. Maybe stop at a casino to play the slots and see a show. Would you like that? Who wouldn't? And there's lots of state parks along my route. We could go hiking. How does that sound, sweetheart? It sounds nice, Dad. I said, how does that sound? It sounds nice, Dad. I said, how does that sound? He's shouting now and banging his fist on something which, if you know my quiet father is uncharacteristic and rather terrifying. The door burst open and a voice I recognized as Nurse Teddy's said, Is everything okay in here? Yes, my dad said, sounding more like himself. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. It's okay, Teddy said, but his voice was tentative as if he were scanning my father for signs of another outburst. Would you like to talk to someone, Mr. Camp? What do you mean? A chaplain, perhaps, or maybe a family counselor? You mean a shrink? Not necessarily, but someone who understands what you must be going through. No one understands what I'm going through, my dad said in a low voice, and we're not the kind of people who talk about our problems. Okay, Teddy said gently, but visiting hours are over, so maybe you should call it a night. The patients need their rest. Right, my dad said, sounding utterly defeated. I'm not helping. I'll go. When he left, I wondered how things were at home between him and Mom. They hadn't visited together in a while. Were things strained? If their relationship is strained, I'll never know. We aren't the kind of people who talk about our problems. Hi there. This is Stephanie Bond, author of the Coma Girl Daily Podcast. The drama keeps building, doesn't it? 
If you're enjoying the story, I hope you'll consider leaving a five-star review wherever you listen to podcasts to help more people find Coma Girl. Thank you so much. And come back tomorrow for another can't-miss episode of Coma Girl. Coma Girl.